Welcome to New Possibilities. Today, I'm not speaking truth to power. I'm just talking. I'm just doing a movie review today. Um, yesterday, I saw Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. I was hyped to see this movie. After all these trailers and all this hype and attention, I was really excited to see this movie. I was like, let me make sure that I'm the first one in the theater on Friday, the day when the movie premieres. I was hyped up because as a kid, I've always been into comic books. You know, I would read a lot of comic books, you know, X-Men and uh, the DC comic books and all that kind of stuff as well. Even though I was a big fan of Marvel, I still checked out DC comic books. I liked Batman and Superman and the Justice League and all that stuff. So yeah, I was hyped. And I was just curious about how in the world would Batman be able to mess with Superman? I mean, Batman is just some regular dude who's trained in martial arts and he has a whole bunch of gadgets. But Superman is an alien, is super strong, indestructible. He can fly and he has laser vision and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, how is Batman going to defeat this guy? But I'm here to tell you in that movie, Batman gives Superman that work. <laughs> For real. I was just like surprised to see him, you know, really give him a run for his money. Even though a lot of people like gave me little hints about how it would be, would be possible for a Superman to to be defeated possibly by Batman. So it was a good movie. You know, the action sequences were great. You know, I like the build up, you know, leading to the conflict. They show you how the conflict between those two characters eventually reaches um, a climax and they end up clashing with each other. You know, so overall, it's a good movie. I encourage you all to check it out if you haven't checked it out. If you're into science fiction or you're into these um, fantasy type movies, these action type movies, you, you definitely should check it out. You know, this is not the kind of movie you should wait until it comes on DVD to check out. It's one that you should check out right now. So I, I give it thumbs up. You know, overall, it's, it's a good movie. But I will say this. I was really hyped up to see this movie because, you know, I found out that it was directed by the same person that did 300 and The Watchmen. And those two movies are great movies. The Watchmen is a classic superhero movie. It's on a whole nother level in terms of the superhero movies are concerned. And the, um, 300 is a great movie as well. You know, a great movie with great cinematography and great action sequences. So I was really hyped up to see the movie. And I just have a few minor complaints about the movie. You know, one thing I'll say is that I don't think Ben Affleck is as good as, a, a you know, Bruce Wayne or Batman as Christian Bale was. I think Christian Bale was a much better Batman. He was better suited for that role. In this movie, it's not on the level of a Dark Knight. Dark Knight took the whole um, superhero thing to a different level. It is probably by far one of the best superhero movies ever made. So that's really a high standard for any superhero movie to meet. And this movie falls short, but it's still a good movie. Another complaint that I have about the movie is just that there were it was rather long, and there were segments of the movie where there was no action going on in the movie. So there were segments that were kind that were kind of drag along. So unlike a movie like The Dark Knight, where there's constant nonstop action and unpredictable um, sequences and all that kind of stuff. This movie had segments where there was nothing going on. Also, another thing that I um, didn't like about the movie is how it went in a different direction. You know, you had the conflict between Batman and Superman, but then ultimately there's another conflict and another struggle against another character. I I didn't like that direction, you know, and I didn't really 
care for all the um, computer generated special effects. You know, I'm not like into those kind of special effects. I think that they are overused in these movies. And they actually make the movies um, look more cartoonish than realistic. So I, w I wasn't really feeling that aspect of the movie. And then also, my the last thing I'll say is this. Um, I didn't really like the way they depicted um, Lex Luthor in this movie. From what I remember from the comic books and from other cartoons and movies, Lex Luthor was like an evil genius. You know, he wasn't a goofy type of character. He wasn't anything like a Joker type of character. But in this movie, they make him kind of goofy. And maybe my memory is faded, but that's how I remember the original Lex Luthor. You know, he was an evil genius. He wasn't a, a goofy type of character. He was more serious. So, um, so yeah, I mean, those are my thoughts. I mean, it's still a good movie. I encourage you all to check it out. Overall, I'll give it a thumbs up. You know, so tell me what you thought. If you saw the movie, let me know what you thought about it, you know, uh, in the comment section. So I look forward to hearing from you all. Again, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.